I get asked under all of my videos, when's the next waxing video? Here it is, baby. What's up guys, welcome back to my channel. For those of you who don't know me, my name is Destiny. And if you're a returning subscriber, welcome back to the family. This week's video is sponsored by Tress Wellness. They're a waxing company. I do waxing content. Let's get into it. I'm really excited for this video with you guys. They were kind enough to reach out to me and ask if we can collab here on YouTube. And I'm going to be reviewing their complete waxing kit that I got off of Amazon. Disclaimer, I am a licensed professional. And I do have a waxing playlist here on my YouTube channel. So if you want to check that out, make sure you look at that playlist. But usually I do sugaring related content on this channel. But I used to do hard wax as well before I got into sugaring. So if you are a person that kind of favors hard wax a little bit, you might be interested in watching this video. They're located in Stockholm and all of their waxes are made with natural ingredients. So I'm really excited to share my thoughts with you guys. If you're interested to see how this waxing kit works or if it'll be a good option for you, keep on watching this video and let's just get right on into it. First, I'm going to open it. I haven't even tried opening it yet because I really do want to get my first impressions just like you guys so here I'm just opening it there are quite a few waxes in here we have a lemon zest we have a eucalyptus we have a peppermint we have a, a lavender and last but not least we have tea tree. You guys know I love tea tree oil, so I might be trying this one out today. I'm not sure. I'm not sure. I'm not sure. We'll figure it out. It also comes with some waxing sticks. This is the after wax spray. And then we have the pre-wax spray. And I was able to choose any type of design that I wanted. And I thought this one was so pretty. Let's see. Dun -dun -dun -dun. She's pink! Like my computer! How cute is this? I'm gonna give you guys a close-up real quick. For at-home wax warmer, honestly, this is so pretty. And this top is even pink. Also comes with two little sprays inside. Little spray heads for your sprays, your after wax and pre-wax spray. And then it comes with a insert for your wax. This is awesome. And it also has little applicators for like lip or eyebrow waxing along with some little disposable tops so that there's no wax sticking to the side of your pot which is great and then we also have some information on the inside i'm gonna put this down put my warmer right here on the table and just start assembling this Okay, so I assembled my entire wax warmer. I have my two little sprays ready, and I also have my waxing sticks here on the side. I'm gonna turn my wax warmer all the way up. It seems to be heating up pretty fast. It's already up to 77 degrees, and I just turned it on, 82, 84. We're on to a good start. I have to choose which wax I wanna do. So I think I'm gonna end up going with the tea tree because I love tea tree oil. All of these waxes are perfect for all skin types. I have pretty sensitive skin so I'm going to be putting this to the test and waxing my underarms for you guys. I had to grow this out for this video so I can give you guys a real demo showing you how I'm using this wax. So let's just open this up and then put it in the wax warmer. This actually smells like tea tree. And I'm just going to give you guys a quick little close-up of how the beads look. They're really pretty green. Putting them in there. That was easy. 
Now I'm just going to wait till this warms up. I'm going to be moving it around with one of my waxing sticks just to make sure that it heats up evenly and doesn't create clumps. You want it nice and smooth, almost like a honey, thick honey consistency and not too hot. So I'm going to be stirring this and enjoy this little time lapse of the wax melting. Alrighty, so my wax seems to be ready and I know that it's ready because I can ball it into this little honeycomb shape without it falling down very quickly. So you see how it takes a while to fall? That's what we're looking for. And for sanitary reasons, I'm going to be wearing gloves and I'm also going to be applying powder before I actually apply the wax to my skin. If you're using any type of waxing, like sugaring, strip wax, hard wax, whatever it is, make sure that you're using some powder to dry that area because you don't want to place wax on top of wet skin because then it's not really going to pull all of the hairs up, which is what we want. So I'm going to get my gloves on, put on my pre-wax spray, and then some of my baby powder. And to make the least amount of mess while you're waxing as possible, make sure that you have like a little garbage can or something close by so that you can dispose of your sticks and tissue all of the things that you might need when you're waxing so that you're not working messily and have a really big thing to clean up afterwards you can just clean up as you go and it makes the process that much easier I already applied my powder so I'm gonna apply going upwards this way so I'm gonna take my wax stick make my little honeycomb and it's just this little twirling motion. So if you've never done this before, practice twirling the wax like this so that you can have complete control over it before you move it onto your skin. And for safety purposes, you want to make sure you're doing like a test strip. But honestly, I'm lazy to do that right now and I know how to use wax. So if you don't know how to use wax, you want to make sure that you're trying a test strip right here on your arm just to see the temperature. Even if I'm giving you natural products to try out, I always recommend to test patch your products and make sure that you have no type of allergic reaction to it because honestly, anything can be in products and you do not know how your skin will react. So just be safe and if you want to try any of the products that I'm going to recommend to you in this video, please make sure to test patch it and make sure that you're doing everything safely. So if you're a newbie, make sure that you're doing a test strip first just to make sure that you can handle it. So here we are. See how I made a lip at the end here so that I can pull it off with ease. Okay, and that dries fairly quickly actually. I'm gonna hold my skin taut here, grab the lip, and then pull. Ooh, that was a nice clean strip. If you're noticing, I'm putting pressure right after to help subside this thing that follows with waxing but that was so clean do you see that oh my god let me get closer look at that it got it all look at that oh my goodness from the root we love to see it okay guys my first impression so far this is great it did not feel too thin and honestly that got all of my hair so as long as you're applying this correctly and following your basic waxing techniques this works amazingly I got all of my hairs from the root okay let's do that second half and I'm gonna take a little bit more wax this time because that bottom half does have way more hair sure you make that lip and 
and I have like a little bit of wax left over. If I saw stragglers, I'd be able to just do a little one two like that and then take it off just like that. So that's a little pro tip to get stragglers as you're already in the process of waxing so that you don't have to go back in afterwards. All right, and that's already dry. It's a really fast dry time, which I appreciate. So I don't have to sit here forever. Okay. Ready? Grab the lip. One, two, three. Oh, that one hot. Oh my goodness. That was really clean too. Close up. You see that? Are we kidding? That's pretty damn good if you ask me. And the redness is not half bad because usually when I hard wax, it's much redder than this, but this is not too bad. I do see like one or two stragglers, but honestly, I'm just gonna go in with tweezers and get those because waxing over a spot more than like three times can irritate your skin and I have pretty sensitive skin so I'm really happy with those first two strips oh my god I have a mirror right next to me which is why I'm looking this way but oh my goodness okay now let's move on to this bad boy so same thing cleansing powder the whole shebang Before, after. What do we think? I love it. I'm really surprised by this lack of redness. Like, this is pretty good. I wasn't sure how my sensitive skin was going to react, but so far, I'm loving this tea tree wax. I wish the bags were just a little bigger, but honestly, for it coming in a complete kit with so many different options, you can't really complain too much underarm fully prepped let's go on in Applying in the direction of the hair growth, making sure I have that lip that I was talking about earlier. Can you hear? It's already starting to dry. Grabbing that lip from the edge here, making sure I get a good grip, holding my skin taut up here, and pull. Good. Applying pressure because that hurted. Hurted is not a word, but makes me feel better. So, oh my god, look at that. Yes. 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 Are we kidding? I want to get as good of a close-up as I can for you guys so you can really see all the hair that it's pulling out. Yeah, now we're going to do that bottom half right here. Getting my honeycomb ready. And a technique to help your wax get a little bit cooler before you put it on is to let it drop a little bit like I am here and then twirling it before it falls all the way down so that you can actually have a cooler wax go onto your skin. So it's like you're drying it in the air. See? 
into that little honeycomb and now let's apply going in the direction Letting it dry. My lip was a little thin there, so I'm just raising it at the end. There we go. Grabbing, and then one, two, three. Pull. Oh. Honestly, it never hurts as bad as your first wax, but oh, still kicks, man. Still packs a punch. Look at that. Oh my god. Yeah, we got all those hairs. Yes, we did. It has been settled. You can have a great wax at home. Thoughts have been made. Hairs have been taken away. And I love this waxing kit. Honestly, for a kit that's pretty affordable that you can get straight off of Amazon, this is really great. I do not feel any type of irritation. The redness is not as bad as I thought it would be. And it got off all of my hairs, like not that many stragglers. And I was able to get all of them in one go. I'm going to have to just go in with my little magnifying mirror to just tweeze those very tiny baby hairs. But guys, this is pretty darn good. Now I'm going to take my after wax spray that I have here and spray my underarms. And instead of putting it on the cotton round, I'm just gonna apply it directly. And this is to help take away any residue of the wax that might have been left on your skin. Ta-da. And then Here. Final results are in. I love it. I'm so red usually after using hard waxes, but this is not bad at all. My opinions, it's awesome. It's a great affordable waxing kit if you are looking into getting a wax warmer for yourself and a little waxing kit so that you can wax yourself at home. Like, I honestly recommend this. It is foolproof, so easy to use. It's cute. It has so many different beads that you can choose from. So if you have specific scent preferences, you'll find something that you like. I love this kit. It comes with everything that you need. Not the gloves or the baby powder, but usually we have those types of items in our households already. So I totally recommend this, especially if you're just a beginner and want to wax yourself at home. I got you guys. I hope this video was helpful. Thank you for the constant support and thank you Trust Wellness for sponsoring this video. With that, I end today's video. If you guys enjoyed it, feel free to give it a thumbs up. And if you haven't already, please consider subscribing to my channel. It definitely helps me out to continue to make content for you guys. And while you're at it, make sure that you're hitting that notification bell so that you don't miss any of my future uploads. I love you guys so, so much. Thank you for the constant support and I'll see you next week in the next video. Thank you.